Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new Sharing is Caring. Yes, Sharing is Caring. I uh, released the uh, printer video yesterday, and I had a couple questions about uh, slime block separation. And I tried to look up a video on YouTube, but couldn't really find anything that sort of explains what's going on and what the uses are. So uh, this is just a, a short little class on uh, slime block separation. Um, the idea is being simple. You have two pistons uh, that get a zero tick, uh, and the second one gets the zero tick uh, one tick later than the other. Um, and that does this behavior. If you have two slime locks and uh, you activate them, you, you've successfully separated slime locks. That, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, they don't even actually have to face each other. You could also uh, do it like this, which is what I use in the a slime block printer uh, so this separates uh, and then if you move this back you could feed in like the next uh, slime block to separate uh, but yeah that that is how you separate slime blocks um, so it's not magic it's just a bunch of zero ticks in order um, but that brings me to the next thing and this is ancient tech but I don't think it's being used as much as it should because it's really really good um, if you have a comparator clock, um, you can actually use this as a, sort of a, a, a piston extender. Uh, it's very loud, it's probably a little bit laggy, um, but uh, yeah, I stopped it at the right time now. Um, if you were to uh, hook this comparator clock, which is basically a zero tick clock, up to a uh, uh, like a proper timer, for instance here, uh, you can actually get full control of how far the slime block piston extender extends. So in my case, if you want to do this with just pistons, uh, this would, this thing would be like ginormous. It would be ex absolutely ridiculously big in order to make an extension this far. And also, I have to add that this is flush. So uh, if I were to get, I don't know, diamond block, place it here. Um, you you don't have any any uh, pistons and stuff in front of it, and I've basically pushed this block out uh, eight blocks from a wall, so it's insanely powerful uh, as a piston extender. Um, so how how do you time this? Um, well, let's for instance say. Uh, we want to make a shorter pulse. Uh, the way I go about it is just trial and error, <laughs> basically. Um, so we have a, a comparator delay here. Um, so let's say we, I don't know, we make this shorter. And we'll just see what happens. Like this. Okay, so that was a little bit too long. Uh, so we could maybe add an extra. I think this is it already. Um, so yeah, that's how you go about uh, making a slime block piston extender. It's, it's just you mess around with it a little bit. That's, that's basically all there is to it. And then hook it up to one of these comparator clocks. So, uh, yeah, sharing is caring is back. Uh, I have been out of the Redstone community for quite some time now. And that means that there's probably a bunch of interesting tech that it might not be universally known by a lot of Redstone creators. So do you have a good cool build? Uh, would you like to be featured on a a future sharing is caring video or perhaps even join me on the video to explain uh, just uh, send me a tweet uh, or post something in the comment and I'll go check it out and maybe we can get on in contact on discord or something anyways guys thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe for future sharing is caring videos and I will see you in the next video bye bye